slow poker. I have a career and a family, but also play poker, which doesn't leave me much time. So let's get to it. After a bit of a rough patch with my former favorite hand, Pocket Aces and I have decided to take a little break. We're still friends, we just need some space. And now that I'm playing the field, here's hoping for a love connection with a new suitor. Low Jack limps, I raise to 25, and the limper calls. After a nice flop and a low jack check, I bet 30, and he check raises to 80. Limp callers can be a tricky bunch. Is this one the type who limps pre-flop from early position with a low pocket pair, and here he's got a set of fours? Or does he have air and I'm ahead? Hard to say, but facing a check raise of under 3x, I've got far too much equity to fold. After a blank turn and a low jack bet of around one third pot, some or all my outs may still be live, so I call. After this river, he checks. Most players with a full house here wouldn't risk a check back, so I should be in good shape. And after I bet half pot and fade the snap, I know I'm golden. Lojack says he limp called with pocket tens, and if so, why check raise flop with tens? I could easily have pocket a jacks or queens or kings or any pocket pair. I don't know, but what I do know is that I had a nice time with you, eight seven suited. That was fun. You're fun. Let's see if I click with nines. After a hijack raise to 20 and a cutoff call, I consider a squeeze with my new squeeze, but decide instead to take it slow. I mean, everything's still so raw after what happened with, you know, and nines and I just met, but it's a decent first impression. I check in flow, and sadly, they both check behind. After a turn that coordinates the board quite a bit, I lead for 25, and cutoff raises to 85. While this raise does seem like a jack-10 bet, this player is more than capable of making moves with only a small connection to the board, or just the right blocker. But far more importantly, when someone's repping the nuts, they tend to wear a top hat and a monocle, but this player is wearing neither. Given that fact, and since I can still boat up, I call. After this river, and a check by me, cutoff bets 140. If she was ahead on the turn, or bluffing turn with hearts and got there, I'm in trouble. But I listen to my gut, and my gut says, she's got jack-10, or jack sh you know what, gut? I agree. And if she's got jack sh then she knows it's unlikely I've got jack 10, given she jack blocks with jack sh Hard to say, but after some deliberation, I call jack sh I gotta say, I respect Cutoff's bluff quite a lot. I don't respect, however, her DMing me and saying I'm a calling station. Sticks and stones, Cutoff. And you know what? Maybe I am a calling station. I'm calling your bluff, and I may just call Pocket Nines again. See if they're up for a nice dinner that I can pay for with your $245. And maybe I'll post a picture of that dinner. And if some other higher pocket payer sees it, then, you know, they see it. It's just dinner. We've all gotta eat. I enjoyed my time with nines, but anything nines can do, tens can do better. Hijack raises to 15, I three bet to 50, and big blind cold calls. After this flop and a big blind check, I bet 45, and he quickly calls. This turn brings in a couple of checks, and this river leads big blind to lead for 105. This kind of feels like a bluffer trying to exploit my turn check weakness. Also, I really want to make this work with tens. If I fold, what does that say about me? About us? A little adversity and I'm just gonna bail? No. No, I'm gonna see this through. I need this. We need this. I don't need a pocket pair higher than tens. Tens are solid. Tens are good. Yeah, you and me tens. We got this. Thank you. Call an out. Yeah. All right, tens. High five. Hmm, what's that? Why three more high fives? I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, I get it. That's funny. You're adorable. I like you. Pocket nines went well. Pocket tens went well. Only natural to see how it goes with pocket jack. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I cannot deal with pocket kings right now. They are just far too close to, they just, they feel like a rebound hand. And after a UTG limp from pretty fly for a queen high, I just want to fold. But I fall back on old habits and raise to 25 and limper calls. On this flop, I bet 35 and he calls. And this turn would have been pretty nice if I had pocket. No, no, that's behind me now. So I should probably bet range here, but I check and he checks back. After this river and a check from me, Limper bombs it for 195. Now while the team at Red Chip Poker endorses a fold to this overbet given how many draws just got there, the team at Revenge Chip Poker argues that if I pick off another bluff with kings, I could not only punish a limp caller, but also really stick it to some other pocket pair. And while some say revenge is the dish best served cold, I say revenge are those chips and I won't fold. <laughs> Fine, fine. Lesson learned yet again. No more big pocket pairs. This shouldn't be hard to forget, slow poker. Just remember your trainer training. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, no trouble. Now that I've lowered my standards, no better time to see if Ace Jack Offsuit is down to clown. Facing a hijack raise, I should 3-bet or fold, but instead I flat, and small blind tags along. After a spade-tastic flop and two checks, I bet 15 with both the nut blocker and gut shot draw, and hijack calls. After this turn and a hijack check, he could have trips or better, so I check back. And after this river, hijack bets 50. I lose to a few hands here, but do have the bluff catcher and the jack, so with some reluctance, I flick in the call. It's only at this moment that I realize I'd rivered the flush, but it's not my fault. I'm distracted and flustered, even just holding that one ace in my hand. It's just too much for me right now. I can't stop thinking to myself, what if that jack wasn't a jack, but was... <sighs> this is bad. I'm so sorry, Ace Jack. I swear, it's not you, it's me. Well, it's half you. Still like pocket. Pocket what?
Why'd you blur out the last word? Tell you what, just ask me your question in person at the Slow Poker Meetup game at Hustler Casino in LA on October 8th. Join the waitlist now on Poker Atlas, and maybe you'll get to meet some of your favorite characters from past Hustler episodes, like Just Some Pair, Green 10 Offsuit Eric, Slow Greg, Giggly Bob, Chase Anything, or Garrett Adelstein. That guy. What a fish. All right, enough speed dating. It's time to get serious. I just want to connect with some whole cards. Try to build something together. Something real. Maybe you could be those whole cards, pocket threes. After a cutoff limp, I raise from the button to 20, and the limper calls. After this flop and a check, I bet 15, and he calls. After a turn that's bad for my hand, but great for my range, he checks, I bet 35, and he calls again. And after a river that doesn't complete any draws, and a cutoff check, I see little reason not to keep firing, in case he's got just some pair. So I bet 75, and take it down. All right, pocket threes. I don't mind saying, that felt right. You felt it too? Huh, seems like we're a good team. Though, if I can be direct, it kind of felt like I was the one putting forth all the effort. If we do see each other again, and I'd really like that, maybe you can bring a little more to the table next time around? I hope that's not rude. Is that rude? You know what I'm saying. I'm being honest, because, I don't know, sure, this is all pretty new, but we've got a good thing going so far, right? Huh, pocket threes. I like the sound of that. Oh, hi. Really nice to see you again. By the way, you look great in black. UTG1 raises to 15, and I call, as does the big blind. After this flop, PFA bets 20, and we still beat ace high. What do you say, threes? Should we peel? Yeah, let's peel. YOLO, right? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but... All right, why not? The more the merrier. Okay, yeah. UTG1 checks, and before I can even look at a tip chip, he mucks. Pocket threes. I have to admit, that was unexpected. But I'm open to new things. So thank you for... Broadening my horizons. So would you maybe want to get together again Saturday? Okay, next Friday? Hmm. Oh, how about next hand? Hey, I had a really nice time last hand. Yeah, really nice. I raise to 15 and get called by three players. The cutoff, Jack ate Instagram bully in the small blind and the big blind. And the flop, oh, this time we're just gonna dive right in? You don't wanna grab a drink first or? All right, no, no, it's fine, it's okay, I'm, it's fine, I'm down. After two checks, I bet 30 and get called by Jack and after an action-killing turn, I bet again, praying she's on a draw. But she mucks while I send her a DM. Pocket threes, this is fun. I mean, I'll admit things are moving a little fast for me, but you know what? Let's live a little. That's right. Slow poker's got his groove back. I'm on the button, and... Oh, here she is. This is the best part of my day. Lady in red. All right, threes, brace yourself, okay? Because you've been encouraging me to be more adventurous, and I've got a little something up my sleeve. What do you say to a little Bonnie and Clyde roleplay? Ah, 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 shh. Just watch. Everyone folds to me, so I raise to 15 and... Wait a minute. You raised? Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't put in yet. So you acted out of turn. I, I, thought, he was, I thought he was folded. I'm First. calling his 15. That's what I was doing. You can change the action. Right? I call. Yeah. I call. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. I'm confused, so I'm just going to fold. Sorry. I acted out of turn. I, didn't, I thought he folded. I'm, it's my bad. I'm sorry. What an entirely unintentional blunder by me. I feel so sheepish and submissive. Well, I'm here, I guess. And I've got two threes, so... Thank you, mistress. May I have another? They both check, so how does 25 sound, pocket threes? It's not too much, is it? You sure? You tell me if it was too much, right? Okay, 25. I'll admit, threes, this has been exhilarating, but I do think we should slow down just a little. We've been seeing each other quite a lot, and, and don't get me wrong, it's been amazing, but I'm also fine if we just pump the brakes, if that's fine with you. Okay, okay, good. After a cutoff limp and a button raised to 25, I look down at... Oh, hey, what a nice surprise. No, 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 I just, I thought we were... I didn't know we were hanging out today. Yeah, of course, yeah, totally, let's do it. Let me just throw on a clean shirt and check open table to see if there's a... So yeah, I thought we were pumping the brakes. No, no, it's cool. No, it's absolutely, it's cool. I mean, I'll check and button will bet 15 and I'll check raise to 45 and he'll call. But maybe for the rest of the night, we just take it easy. We could rent a rom-com on Hulu or something or... Or that. No, it's fine. Listen, I really like you. Whatever you're into, I'm on board. I'm in this to win this. I promise. Deal me in. And normally I bet small here, but I'm a little tired. So I'll just check and he'll check back and I'll eat river for 95 and he'll tank call and... So hey, I don't want to drudge up the past or anything, but I have to tell you, I never experienced anything like this with my ex hole cards. I don't know how you do it, but you're incredible. The straddle is on, and hey you. Look, I know we've only seen each other six times, but when we're together, I feel so at ease. Everything feels natural. Everything just flows. It's like we finish each other's... Exactly, yes. Uh, I mean, I didn't hear you, but I think you said senses. So yeah, what do you think we should do here first to act with the straddle on? I can't fold you, that's for sure. But raising the 30 or 35 feels like maybe coming on too strong. Should we try out this open limp thing that everyone else seems to do? You think? Really? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. With you, I just want to keep trying new things, share new experiences, new adventures together. I'll go anywhere with you. Everyone folds to the straddler who checks option. See, but this is why I don't like limping. If the flop is, for instance, queen 6-4, you could have all the random two pair combos, or just a queen or a 6 or a 4. Don't get me wrong, threes. I'm over the moon that we're doing this together. Honestly, I just think I started this one off on the wrong foot. It's all been smooth sailing. I don't want to ruin a good thing with a bad flop. 
Flop goes check, check. Turn goes check, bet, fold. And together, as a team, we get max value. Pocket threes? What is this? What is this magical cloud we're floating on together? I mean, it's rare enough to see each other so many times in such a short period of time. But then for us to experience all those exact moments together? Triple barrel, bluff, turned set, flopped set, flopped set plus angle, flopped set turned quads, flopped quads. That's like a 1 in 15,000 lightning strike. We might be meant for each other. Pocket threes. I think... I think I'm in love with you. After two limps, I'm in the cutoff with... No. No. We are not doing this. I'm trying to... I found a new pocket pair, okay? And they're taking me places you never took me. No, we can't keep doing this. It isn't healthy for either of us. But God, do you look nice. And one of the limpers is Daryl from episode 16. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll raise to 30 to punish the limpers and facing a three bet to 100 from a loose aggressive player from Argentina who's getting frisky with Queen Jack. I'll four bet and take it down, but that's it. Pocket aces, what are we doing? This is bad for both of us. That's the last time, okay? I'm serious. We can't do this. You and me, we're done. I'm in the low jack with, what are you doing here? Just, you need to get out of my life. Go, I'm serious. Just go. Threes, please calm down. Please, threes, listen. Three. No, it was a one-time thing, I promise. No, it was all pre-flop, nothing else. Yeah, there was an Argentine lag who, who three-bet light from the button and I four-bet, that's it. I promise. Please don't be mad. No, no, please, please, please. Who are you talking to? Oh, uh, it's like pocket threes. There's this whole uh, thing with pocket aces and it just, um, it gets, it gets really emotional. You're talking to playing cards? I'll call you back. And that'll do it for episode 18 of Slow Poker. Please like, subscribe, comment below, hit that notification bell, join my Patreon, and I'll see you in LA on October 8th. No, no, baby. I swear, they don't even have aces in LA. Until next time, this has been Slow Poker. Ooh, subscribers.